What's up, guys? I'm to hear more. And I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to the scary squad mm-hmm. in the chat, pulling up and obviously giving us genres. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should rap today because I want to. We, we, we talking about we talking little baby, um, little baby and his his outlook and how, according to him, we're all poor. <laughs> Even him or just anybody that's not a rapper? He must have a lot of money. Uh, I saw him. He must have a going lot. Going through a garage money. showing off his, his cars, and I'm just like, yeah, you got a lot of, got a lot of cars. Well, but a lot of cars doesn't equal a lot of money because all of those can be leased, too. He, he, he's getting a lot of money per feature, and he's featured all the time. Uh, and he's, he's probably the, the highest selling rapper right now. Mm. Um, but he dropped a wealth level by net worth chart. Uh, according to him, and it it I it just it just makes you feel a certain type of way. Um, according to him, poor is zero dollars to five hundred k. Middle class is five hundred k to two million. If you have two million dollars, you're middle class. Upper middle two to four, comfortable four to ten million. That's comfortable. For some reason, wealthy is in the middle with 10 million to 30 million. Okay. Lesser rich, 30 million to 80 million. If somebody called me late, lesser rich because I had 80 million dollars, I didn't even know that was a thing. Comfortable rich is 80 million to 150 million. Rich is 150 to 200 million. That's a very small gap for mm-hmm. rich. Seriously rich, <laughs> which I didn't know was a, a term, 200 to 400 M's. Truly rich. <laughs> 400 to 800 million. Filthy, 800 million to 2 billion. And 2 billion plus is super rich. Um, First I, of all, I thought wealthy was. I was just going to say, I highest. stopped listening when she said wealthy and then went to rich. Yeah. Because wealthy uh, infers that you more than likely would never go broke. You got businesses yeah. that have been around for 20 plus years. You got generational wealth. Your kids, kids, kids will be rich. Right. That's, that's some Jeff Bezos shit. So when he went back to rich, I'm just like, mm, somebody didn't teach nothing, buddy. That, I, I remember mean, when um, Chris Rock made the joke about uh, if uh, Oprah woke up, or Bill Gates woke up, I think he said if Bill Gates woke up with Oprah money, he would jump off the top level of a building or something damn. like that. It, damn. That's that's perspective, though. Yeah, because wow. we look at Oprah as super rich, but yep. you think about Bill Gates? Come on, bro. You think he'd be upset? <laughs> he, he seems like a guy who like donates a lot anyway. He might be like, "Oh, okay, this is this is," re-. but I don't know. That's a lifestyle change. I don't know. I will say I'm a fan of Lil Baby. I didn't realize how much of a fan I was. I knew I was starting to, to like him more, but uh-huh. um, I was listening to the song with him and Lil Durk on it, uh-huh. and Lil Durk rap first, and then mm-hmm. I was about to change. And I was like, "Ah, this ain't really doing it for me." And then uh, I like Durk. I heard Lil Baby's voice voice coming up. I was like, oh, well, baby, oh, why wait? He's he's weirdly, he sounds good on everything. And that's kind of, that's not normal. That's why he gets away with so many good features because it's like mm. a lot of rappers have kind of like one sound. But he, he just, he, he's very well, very well equipped to rap. And yeah. uh, apparently in his brain, he, I don't know where he is on this list, but that, this is an ambitious list. Yeah. If you're like, I'm, I got four million and I'm just comfortable. I need to be lesser rich. Like that's. Can you go to your your video real quick? I want to see if it looks blurry on your. No, it doesn't look blurry on your screen. Huh? What's going on that it looks so blurry on my screen? We look okay, guys, right? Do we look okay? It still looks hella blurry on my. Uh, all right, the genres are coming in. We got Latin pop. I see. <laughs> we got <laughs> mystical. <laughs> <laughs> Mystical trap music, swing music, anime opening. Hmm. Okay. It really looks weird. Let me see if my get them all. Let's see if it's set in low. Is it just oh. your resolution? No, you got the auto. Put it up to the. Eight oh, there we go. Seven twenty. Hey, looks an amazing now. Less okay, seven twenty. Also, I read this before we do the rap. I mm-hmm. read that the baby, it's mm-hmm. a lot of rapper names, 
The baby charges three hundred thousand for a verse now. Yep, he started at five k, which is also pretty good. <laughs> three hundred thousand for a verse is it's crazy. You are gonna get that? Let's go. Three hundred thousand, nigga. For three hundred thousand, you doing the whole song? I'm just gonna have a little baby song <laughs> do on my, my album. album. <laughs> yeah, three hundred thousand for a verse? That's expensive. I remember what Two Chains was saying. He was charging a million for a verse. I don't think anybody's paying a milli for a two chains verse. And I really still don't understand how that works rappers when they are like, um, like when you friends with a rapper, how do you charge a friend 300,000? I I feel like they swap verses out. Like I give you this verse for so you hop on my song. Well, you know what? I think it is like that sometimes. But do you remember T when T-Pain was coming out about the industry yep. and he was like, I, I, I just like being in the studio. So I'll give somebody a verse and, and I expect them to do a verse. And then when he hit them for the verse, they charge full. Yeah. That's some that's some cold shit. <laughs> that is some cold that's a, that's shit. That's a cold game, bro. I was just, man. Young Thug did an interview where he said he charges an M uh, for a show. And that's he brought his price down for the pandemic. So, uh, an M for the show? Mm -hmm. What well, for the show? You think that's... I mean, he's one of the hottest rappers out. But, okay, I get what you're saying, but 300K... For a verse. We're talking about one song. For a show that you might do 20 to 30 songs on, hmm. a venue, and they can charge whatever for the tickets. So, you okay, know what I mean? so that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but for 300,000, 300, bro, that's almost a third of what he's charging for a whole show. What do you think Drake's price is? I wonder if, they, I wonder if that's a thing. Because Drake would have to be the most expensive, right? You would think, but Charlemagne said Drake is going down. He's been. He wants that to happen. Yeah, he, he just he, he openly admits that he hates. He's on like, Drake. I know I'm hating on Drake. Um, Drake, how much for a verse? Because you can't, you can't PayPal this nigga. Like, no. <laughs> how much does Drake charge for a verse? Okay, I see this thing. Working with Drake is not the easiest feat. Okay, as unless Drake approaches you to hit the studio, Drake supposedly charges one million for a feature. There you well that's <laughs> that is that's to scale with the baby though. One million dollars for a feature? Mm hmm Sixteen bars is gonna run you a milli. That's borderline desperate. <laughs> Cause I know I guess if you're like a platinum selling rapper like Uzi, it'd be like, yeah, 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 Drake, hop on the song. It'll make all the difference. But like that's I, I'm I'm sure like you could you could lose everything, and then what if the song don't be hot, <laughs> or if you, the sample don't? Listen, clear? if you spending a million for Drake, you better have damn, you better have London on the track, Hit Boy, uh, Metro Boomin. You better have some of the the producers that he's already gone platinum with doing that track. Who if we? Jesus. Oh, but it said unless he approaches you first, right? Right. Okay, because I was about to say, I'm trying to think of his features in the past few, uh, few years. Blockboy JB did not pay him a million dollars. There's no way. Nah. Um, future, they, they, that, that probably happened. He don't be doing a lot of features. No, so Drake, maybe. Drake be popping up all over. I think that Drake does what Jay did, which is latch on, and what Kanye did is latch on to the younger crowd, and that's mm -hmm. how he stays relevant. Exactly. Everybody so. pretty much does that except for comics. Comics be like hating, mm. like, and you know what we don't. I, I said real, before, though. like, here's another thing outside of like the attitude of most of the older comics that be hating or not hating, just be like acting like you owe them something. Mm -hmm. Not only do they come sometimes to venues with stank attitudes or come to Zoom with stank attitudes, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. uh, feels like they don't want to be there, all that type of stuff. But right. also like they don't really promote it. People that want to be on the show, they post a flyer. They're excited about it. They got people pulling up. Yeah, and it just be like it's a it's a completely different thing. So right. now I'm at the point where it's like, okay, I'm just gonna work with the people that wanna that wanna be on the show. And I think that's like a newer thing, cause cause music is very parallel, like with comedy too. Like music, there was that whole thing where like Nicki Minaj and Lil Wayne and that class, mm -hmm. they, they didn't really like take to new artists and and a lot, and it's been historically like that too. But this new age of people is it, it's it's different, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they they met their idols and were shot down, so it's kind of the same as same as comedy. Like older yeah. comic view, you know, art uh, comics they they tend to like 
hate on the whole internet wave and 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 you know think they're better than everybody and stuff but it seems like this new class of comics with all y'all y'all are all like it, it seems like it's it's friendly competition but it's not really competition yeah it's it's, it's really not like at this point because it's every we understand that I think what a lot of rappers are understand is it's a lane for everybody. You can make your own. You know what I'm yeah. Uzi can make a million the same way that T.I. can make a million. It's like, bro, that's 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 mm -hmm. both of them from Atlanta. Well, I think Uzi is from Philly, but both of them kind of got that rap, but the completely different styles, like completely different. It couldn't be more different. So, you know, it's a lane for everyone. And you can make it your own, too. Before there was gatekeepers. So people were fighting for mm -hmm. limited. Uh, Positions. Somebody ask. Somebody ask what uh, D DMX charges for a feature. Charges. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so random. I was like, What does he charge? I wonder. He has a. Uh, it says hiring DMX for corporate events, appearances, speaking engagements, and product endorsements is easy with Booking Entertainment. Oh wow. Wait, is this? Are they asking me right now? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm on the website to book DMX. Under twenty five thousand dollars. Oh. Uh, that's literally the price. It says under twenty five thousand dollars. Oh, availability, generally available. Gives it the it gives the demographics, his songs. In Listen, case you wanted to, <laughs> that's the bitter, <laughs> We're bitter the sweet at. side of entertainment, man. It's like when you hot, dope. you are hot, but nobody cool. stays on top forever. No, I mean there's there's Cardi B's on here. Chance the rapper, like this is a, a, a Ooh, click on Chance. Let's see what Chance is charging. I didn't know you could. I didn't know this. It was so easy to do this. Uh, price call for fee. Uh, <laughs> he want to know who you are before you give you the price. That's uh, a <laughs> that, that that's usually that's like a, when a menu says market. It might yeah, be a little, price, might be a price I you don't want to look at right now. Party. See, yep, yep. Uh -huh. call for fee. You don't want to hear that. You don't want to read this number. It's it's not only that. It's like it depends Tribe on what quest. I'm doing. Trap call quest call for fee. Okay, so it seems like there's. Either a ballpark, like it's less than this, or you know. See if Blueface got one. Blueface? Yeah. Blueface. Right to your right. Oh, here you go. Call for fee. Nigga, if you don't take this ten thousand dollars, <laughs> <laughs> out here wrapping your house and shit, nigga, take this ten thousand dollars. I did not me, know you this don't was need a thing. it. That's crazy. You could really just book rappers on on the internet. I thought you had to. I don't know what I thought. Nigga, <laughs> a million for a verse. That's pretty. That's really good. But I see why he drops as often as he drops. Yeah. People can't afford him. <laughs> I mean, can't really afford shit. Them. Yeah. No, I'm, you gotta. Nah. Damn. That's okay. Let's that's get this. Let's get this song out of the way because I a lot of money. I am in the wrong field. <laughs> that's a that. I mean, hopefully the verse is hot too. Because I mean, if, right. he's, if he's charging, he's he's charging because he's Drake, and anything that he does is going to be watched. Right. But. I mean, he's probably gonna give a good verse, but you could give a trash verse and yeah, still get he that could in. Phone it in. He could phone it in. You know yeah, that could happen. All that right, uh, I am here once again asking for you to support Pat Does Mystical. <laughs> 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 a lot of mystical comments. When did we do mystical? Now that we they were talking about it, uh, I think either the last episode or one of the last ones that we did virtually. They were talking about about mystical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here asking you know, asking for your support. Pat does mystical. <laughs> I'm down for some mystical. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. You gonna rap like mystical? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just give you a mystical beat and we're gonna go off of that. Okay. Uh I'm gonna just go off of here I go. <clears throat> um hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You know what time it is? Boom, boom, boom. Damn internet. Hey. Boom, boom. I'm coming out from the left. I'm breaking it off your chest. Bossing it on your chest. Boom, boom. Damn internet. What you doing? I'm about to fucking line around the corner. Get up. Get off. I said, get off me. Hey. I'm at the prairie with my fairies, baby. Came through with the nigga named Jim Carrey. I got a mask on, nigga. Damn, internet scary. I got my fucking concert line around the corner. You feel me? It's time for You know it's time for It's time for My dreads head. I'm a dreadhead. My head dreads. Came through with some bedhead. I 
I got some head in the bed with a dread head. Took my meds. I wonder what this building thinks. I just, I be seeing people in here. First of all. Uh, what is this? What is just you so optics? casually agreed to it? I didn't expect all of that. You committed, but so casually. I didn't think that you were gonna go full mystical. You did. Like I looked at the screen and you were like, I was like, oh, this you thing is. To. You have to. He's jerking. That's why. That's why he sounds like that. He's not just in the building. Imagine he was booth in the booth still, just like get your better bitch, get off me, shot, pull me out the principal office. I'm like, bad. That student in the principal office. I'd be like, this nigga's crazy. Bitch, nigga. goddamn. <laughs> Motherfuckers know that I'm crazy. I'm coming through this motherfucker waving a 380. Think I'm playing with the it's same like, bitch. Dying. It's like, what a story. <laughs> it's like rapping and you don't know where it's going or you don't know where the inflections come from. It's like they just hit you. Like, <laughs> go, Yo. Bitch, God. Ouch. That, that it's was It's rapping amazing. with the shot collar. Yeah. <laughs> It's like having a shot caller and this, the producer's just like, psh, like, oh, bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, that was fun. That was a good uh Nigga, they were talking, they're talking about when you did uh, Danger on <laughs> Twitch. Did you do that? Oh, this was a Twitch thing. No, I, I have. I have no recollection for the things I say on Twitch. It's just I just be I just be singing and doing random stuff like that. I don't if uh, if the squad squad be clipping it because I don't be knowing what I'm saying. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to transition from this. <laughs> I gotta I got? gotta tune in to the next one. I need somebody to to text. Or email or call me the next time Pat does something like this immediately. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had oh my God. Yeah, call me. And if you're going to call, you might as well call on your new Mint mobile line where you can get it started for just 15 bucks a That's month. Good. Okay? Um, listen, 2021 hopefully will be a much better year. But if not, you can mm -hmm. make it a better year by increasing your savings, okay? okay? Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just $15 a month, all right? Like, I've told you guys the embarrassing amount that I'm paying every month, mm -hmm. um, it is... It is it is trifling. I have to be honest with you. It is trifling to be shelling out this much every month for three lines. That's it. Just three lines. Um, so if you're still paying an insane amount of money every month for wireless, uh, I encourage you to check out Mint Mobile. Uh -huh. I encourage you to, to look into making that switch. Uh, by going online and eliminating traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk uh, and text. High-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. I'm going to tell you something. I remember when daytime minutes was a thing. I remember this. Couldn't, okay? You had to wait till 9. Like, I, whatever I you had to say. So many people wait. hit me <laughs> after 9. And then they were charging for text, too. I think you got like 300 or 500 texts for free. And then each text after that was like 10 cents or something like that. Mm -hmm. I remember a bill being $300 because of text messaging. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that. Rollover that dropped. On, you know, it was a crazy thing, man. Right. Um, but listen, with Mint Mobile, if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with a seven-day money-back guarantee. You get a full week to try this out. Texting, talking, all the data plans, all of that. Try it out for a full seven days. If you're not satisfied, you can get a full money-back um, return, and that's guaranteed. Switch to Mint Mobile right now and get premium service, wireless service, starting at just 15 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys are interested... I'm telling you right now, do it, check it out, see do if you got it. You get to keep your phone too, okay? They'll just send you the new SIM. You get to keep the same phone. You don't have to do any of that crazy stuff. And go to mintmobile.com slash DIYS. Again, that's mintmobile.com slash DIYS. And you can cut your wireless bill down to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash DIYS. I, uh, I look at Mint the, the entire pandemic. I was just like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not paying this and being in the house on my phone all day. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. the phone bill ain't the phone bill ain't stressful no more. Man, listen, it's 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 like it's like Netflix, you know. It's just, it's just it's just there, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm going to go ahead and make the switch. I'm gonna buy already. a phone 
flat out, I'm gonna get Mint Mobile and I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like because I, I've been I've mm-hmm. wanted to get another phone to film with just on a fly type stuff, mm-hmm. and I think I'm a, I'm I'm gonna do it. And I'm just fifteen dollars a month, man. You can't beat that with a stick. You feel nah. me? You can't beat it with a stick, baby. Can't beat that with a stick. Um, yeah, man. What else is going on, Pat? Um, a lot of lot of weird segments today, but I I like it. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of strange things happening in Black History Month already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. very different from 2020 though. Gorilla Glue is our our biggest uh, celebrity of the month. Oh my God! Uh, do you know she was 40? I thought she was 30. I I remember I did hear she was 40. I knew she was too old to have done what she did. (laughs) For sure. And I also heard that she was a teacher, and it was just like, oh, really? Come on, y'all. She she looks uh, looks good. Yeah, she does. She looks good for 40. She wasn't an unattractive young lady. It's just her her level of uh, common sense. Common sense. Not intelligence. Common sense sense was uh, lower than I prefer for people that I casually hang out with. Yeah, I mean, luckily she got it out. Yeah, I and saw. she did not have to go bald. Yeah. Actually, she got the. I mean, well, she didn't. The, the team of doctors uh, operated and got the glue out, mm-hmm. and she could. Uh, I so think she's, they did it for she's free good. too, and it was a black doctor that did it. So shout out to that. Mm-hmm. Now I, she is trying to sue Gorilla Glue. Okay. Yeah. 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 That. <laughs> it's like what? That, uh, what did what did what did Gorilla Glue do? What did they do? Some dude was like, "That ain't true." Glued a t- a cup to his lip, and then went to the ER. Some girl put it on her her lips. You would say, it's it's just why well, not this month, guys? Not this month. <laughs> let's 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 get it together. Um, but yeah, she is a uh, she she is a uh, she is suing. You, I I just feel some type of way about this, man. Like it's weird. I I really feel some type of way because it's just like you you come on, Shawty. You can't like that's like somebody saying, um well, bleach says it on that do not ingest. But if you Some... took like pine saw and put it in mop water and you got hella thirsty while you was mopping and you drank that, and you was like, Well, it says do not drink pine saw, but I thought if I mixed it with the water it'd be fine. It was like, come on, man, like you common sense. How much can they be uh like covering just dumb people? You know, like, I don't know. But it's funny. Somebody had an, an example just like that uh, that was pretty funny. It says, she not gonna, somebody tweeted, uh, she not going to win that damn case. My stove didn't need to come with directions that say, don't put a baby in it for me to not know not to cook a little motherfucker. <laughs> like, it's, it's just everybody's just kind of rolling their head or in their, their eyes in, in unison yeah. over this. And not, not only, yeah, man, like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> the stove didn't say, do not try to eat the fire <laughs> or something like It's like, come on, yo. You know, you know better, yo. You 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 know better. You know better. Come on, right? Like, that's not unreasonable to think that somebody should know better for that. It's it's just funny how big it got. It because blew people up. do people do dumb stuff on the internet every single day. Yeah. I don't, so I, I don't I guess it was I guess it was how funny the first video was, cause it mm-hmm. was she was like slicking back and everything. Yo, when it first came on, I thought she was giving a tutorial on how you can make it work, cause I'm just like, it, it was look good. It. Yeah, she, she was like, like, she she did it. Yeah, I was like, wait, it's been like that for a month. That's crazy. In the shower, and can you imagine the first time she tried to wash her hair and that water was just rolling off of it? She like, probably it looked like an moment. angel. She came out and with perfectly done hair. Everybody was just like, oh man, <laughs> that's. Man, yeah. It's just a, I mean, I, I don't know what Gorilla Glue did, but it's job. Like, it's, yeah. it's just, it's really, it's a really good product, obviously. She wants to sue them for the glue working, basically. I think that the other, uh, the other weird branding thing that happened is the, uh, the Pearl Milling Company. Have you seen the new Aunt Jemima? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Pearl true. Milling is now the Pearl Milling Company, which still sounds slavey. It does. I thought that when I heard it too, I was like, I don't know, like something about like you putting old black names together, like Pearl just sounds like, <laughs> like even like if it was anime syrup, I'd be like, oh, that's fucked up. They didn't have to do Tina Turner like that. Like, eat the pancake, anime, eat the pancake. 
It's like they they just backed up from the the individual slave name to the the place that she was kept. <laughs> like you can't yeah. go from the the Aunt Jemima to the the plantation Pearl. <laughs> it's yeah. the the little I don't like the little the little picture. It just they didn't have to do it. They really could have just took the took the 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 picture off and um, kept it Aunt Jemima. No, no. Um, Auntie's syrup, or so, I don't know, auntie's syrup, or something like that. Yeah, just auntie's, be, yeah, auntie's. And kept, you could keep the you could keep the picture if if you do that. Is the picture slavey? They got the real. Anytime it's got like big features and red lipstick, they automatically like kind of attach it to Sambo. But if you take out Jemima, you know, I, I get that. But isn't this a, the likeness of an actual person? Because I heard that her family was very upset about her being removed. I don't know. I mean, what if that family, what if that was that only fame McLean? It was like, you know, uh, you ever had Angel Mamas? Like, <laughs> yes, sir? Yeah. Oh, your name is Robert Jemima. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, that's their whole claim to fame. <laughs> you go to the club, they got bottles of syrup and Ciroc. <laughs> But are you getting syrup royalties at, or you think they're just, you know, proud of it? Because I think they had to be getting syrup royalties if they got that upset. But I don't know, because it's like, did Maple they royalties like who owns it? Like, did they model it after somebody or is that was that actually your mama's recipe? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 the question you got to ask. Like, who really came to it? Who is? Did Aunt I say Jemima. fame to claim? I meant claim to fame, guys. My bad. If I did say that. Fame to claim? Uh, that's what Pink Doberman said. I said fame to claim. It's I possible. Know. I possibly want... said that. This was a... Uh... Oh, they just changed it. Wait. But it's still... it says as of 2021. Mm. Who is this? Who is... Okay, character. Here it goes. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, so yeah, that's what it used to be. I think. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Okay, all right. So the uh, the 1899 version was a, a different, very different uh, picture. Yeah. Uh, but it says it's based on the common enslaved mammy archetype, a plump black woman wearing a headscarf. Uh oh. The, our ancestors' ghosts are like, nah. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lot of history in this. I get, okay, I get why they figured they it had to time. do this. It, and you know what? It shouldn't have taken to 2021. It, I mean, 2020. Yeah, it should have, it should have been time for that. It's just weird. All the other stuff we were asking for, <laughs> they're like, "We'll change the syrup. We got you on that." It was, it was horrible what they, what they did to that, that poor character. Yeah, it's like, but well, what about, what about what you can do for the blacks now? That would be great. The controversy uh, paragraph is, it's wordy. <laughs> a lot of contra around <laughs> around this. Um, oh my God! Negro Day was a picnic held on at the fair. Oh, all right. I, I recommend you give the Aunt Jemima wiki uh, a look through because uh, take a couple of breaths before you go to that page. Though. A lot of rich history. It's uh, it's heavy. heavy. Eesh. Okay. Heavy. Well, heavy, heavy. Moving on. Heavy, I, heavy. About, bottom line, not not a big fan of the Pearl Milling Company. But <laughs> glad something's something's being done. Woo, sheesh. Um <laughs> This is this is this is pretty funny. Um I want to talk about a little little uh little jealousy. Mm, come on. Um Have you ever stabbed your significant other? This might be a story for you that you could relate to. Wife stabs husband after finding images of him with another woman, mm -hmm. SMH. Right. But Wait. then mm -hmm. discovers right. it was actually her when she was younger. That part right there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That part. Bam. Right there. I think I talked about this on, um, I think Ooh. I talked about this on uh, Zoom with the homies. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, how did you forget? That you weren't that big at one point. You don't remember that picture? I, I I get not remember that picture. I sometimes not remember when I take pictures, but you didn't realize your face. Your face looked that much different. What? That, that's that's a that is a it's a rude awakening. <laughs> Cause she was probably bloodied with the knife, and like the cops were there, like that that is me. <laughs> wow. She stabbed him, and he was like, "What are you doing? Who was this bitch that you're taking a picture with?" He was like. Damn it, Jenny, that's you. That is not fucking me, Earl. I know what I... Well, it was them having sex, too. So it could have been some sides 
some some, oh, is that what the positions. picture was? Of? It was images of him having sex with a quote younger woman on his phone. I'm younger too. <laughs> Not only the that, dude like, was the dude looked younger, or may have been may have been a POV. Right, right, right. Maybe it was a POV. Maybe Pops. the head was cut off, and he was like, "Look, goddamn it, look, look at your mold on your hip. You can't see that's you." Or like and a younger looking penis. How how. <laughs> My question is, how old is his phone, or how many times has he transferred this picture into a new phone? Right. That she don't even recognize. Unless he just, one of those, he has it forever, you know? Oh, I, my gosh, I bro. I wonder how long ago it was, too. But it says, um, <laughs> basically, you know, communicate, guys. At least he deserved a who is this. You yeah. Know? MV um, Talent said <laughs> he probably stuck with her. I see what you did there. Stuck nice. With her. Yeah. Nice. No, that was knife. That was knife. Okay. It, 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 pun it pun all around. Pun, pun, all around. pun in the pun. Uh, mine wasn't as good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, everybody should everybody should tape themselves having sex. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's almost like that's the that's really the one thing. You could do the the, the nudes and the naked pictures, but when you when you see yourself doing the do. That's when you know exactly what you need to work on. I was going to say, <laughs> nothing will make you want to lose is, weight faster than looking at yourself naked be like, Humble that's pie. what my ass looks like? <laughs> Humble pie. Oh, my God. Because the mirror, you just looking straight up. You by yeah. yourself. <laughs> and you typically aren't in motion in the mirror. In the mirror, you're just standing. Well, you see yourself doing this. And you're like, oh, somebody minutes, else was in like, this room. <laughs> oh, my stomach does that? My stomach implodes upon itself when I... Oh, the profile. <laughs> On the thrust? Oh, I gotta. The profile. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that. Humble biscuits. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's Listen, I'm telling you, people are saying, no, you shouldn't do that. Listen, <laughs> you, you film yourself. Saying. And you watch it, and then you, you that one screen, I mean, that one scene, you just, you freeze frame it and print that out, and then you <laughs> hold do that, that in your hand, and you run. You're like, I'm going to run until I, I don't look like this no more. <laughs> you have a stick with a string, right. and that's, <sighs> and you're just like. Now, nah, now, nah, put it back. This, this, this you. I got it behind you. I got to get away from it. <laughs> that's mental. Fortitude, right? There. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't even think you need the image because oh you remember God. that is burned in. You're like, what? Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? And then, yep, you start you start pouring on that humble mm. syrup on your humble waffles. Oh my goodness! And you gotta that that'll that's, that'll do it, man. That'll, that'll do, do it, it, man. I I that's why I'm trying my best right now to like get everything in on, especially like. I'm trying to get my smile together. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get this tooth fixed. All of this type of stuff. Do I chipped that. my tooth the other day. Again? Oh, wait. Yeah, right here. What are you chewing? Man, concrete. <laughs> concrete Drop the, right. Dropped the cookie on the ground and grabbed a piece of concrete instead. <laughs> like, what ah. Are you chewing? Um, but I, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get everything together right now while I got the time because I want to come out of this thing looking like a brand new person, feeling mm -hmm. like a brand new person. I'm going to keep trying to lose this weight, man. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, I encourage you, man. Get right. You come out of this quarantine, you be a whole different person. That chick that was walking by you at the job, she's going to be like, oh, Ripped. George, did you do something different with your hair? Like, bitch, I'm a whole different person. Yep. Ripped. I'm telling you guys, get it together. And and not not just like, wait, if you've been opting, opting out of skincare, I get it, okay? I was a big, just wash my face in the shower type of person, you know, put a little something on my beard and I'm good like mm -hmm. that. No, I ain't tripping off of that. But the truth is, uh, most of us actually care about our skin. Like, and I just started caring about mine. So if you're looking to get something that's simple, but you know it works without being complicated, I'm telling you, you have to get Curology. Mm -hmm. All right. Curology makes skin care effortless. Mm -hmm. All right. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. Plus, they've got a cleanser and a moisturizer that are easy for your skin and super easy to use listen i get up in the morning and it, if i'm just washing my face so i took a shower the night before uh just wash my face at the sink they have this nighttime formula you put on your face right before you go to bed mm -hmm. the moisturizers after you wash your face in the morning or in the shower man you get out the shower put the moisturizer that's it mm -hmm. it's three things you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be honest with you like it's super simple. Like, that's another reason. I'm like, I'm not finna exfoliate my face for uh, 15 minutes. I hate the ones with seven steps. Uh, it's like, 
prime your face with this and then, you know, buff it with this. No. It's like, damn, I'm on step six. I got 20 more. <laughs> I'm not doing all of that and then that. going to the store and talking to somebody about, listen, you do everything online. All right? Everything ships right to your door mm -hmm. and your first 30 days are free. You just cover five bucks for the shipping and handling. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up for Curology in minutes by sharing your skin type and your skin goals. And a licensed provider can create a custom formula made for you. Mm -hmm. Like one personalized farmer that's all for you. Whether you're struggling with acne, dark spots, or you just want something simple and straightforward. All right. They've also got other amazing products that you can add to your subscription an acne body wash, Dope. emergency spot patches. Dope. Uh, you can keep it up or you can just keep it simple. All right. Yeah. Simple. I, I Again, I got the simple. I got the face wash, the nighttime formula, and moisturizer. That's it. Those three things. And like literally, if you go, I you go it. through okay. some of my comments on Zooming, and even on here, people are like, "Yo, to hear your skin looks great." And I didn't even realize you typically don't because it's your skin you see it every day. But people mm -hmm. noticed that the skin had been looking clearer, and I looked like I was glowing. I was like, "Okay, well, thank you so much." <laughs> that pregnant okay. glow. Um, I love the <laughs> convenience of it. I love that I'm not guessing what I'm getting. I know exactly what what's coming in the package every month. I've actually mm -hmm. got two packages already. Like I've been using it for a month, so I'm glad that people. Can I'm actually... excited about this. One. Me too. I'm really into it. My skincare was trash before. I was just whatever. It's <laughs> the wedding. It's just like I mean, you watching you wash your face with the body wash. It's like that's not what it's made for. It's just, a, I mean, you can do it, but it's not what it's made for. Just stuff with good packaging at <laughs> CVS. I'll be like, this looks like it'll work. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Curiology is... I'm actually very happy about this one. Yes. Um, so, listen. If you are ready to for healthier skin and a routine that makes sense, do what I did. Give Curology a go. Go to Curology.com slash DIYS for your free, okay, free 30-day trial. Just pay for the shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash DIYS to unlock your free 30-day trial. Uh, see Curology.com for all the details, all right? Trust me, you won't regret it. It's a cool name. Yeah. Curology. Anything with ology. Let's talk about some scams. Oh, snaps. Scam city. Um, well, first of all, this, 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 wasn't, this wasn't the plan. I just, I just saw this. Um, this. This falls under scam. Uh, Trump dodged the impeachment. This motherfucker is untouchable. I thought for sure that after he got out of office, they would be able to attach something to him. But he is one slippery Nothing. son of a gun. He is a slippery blippery. <laughs> um, that's 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 crazy. Uh, it, it, you know the the officers who pushed that seven year old dude down mm -hmm. on camera, they got no charges. Yep. So. Weird, weird. Um, we it's like there's no nothing happened from. I'm not going to say that, but like all the all the work that went into last year, it's finally getting to see the, the courtrooms and people are just like, nope, back to regularly scheduled racism. You yeah. Know, get, get, you know, that was that was fun. Now not only to, that, like back um, to the what did I read? Let me see. I'm going to pull it up real quick. OK, it was uh, I think yesterday or Saturday they gave Eugene Goodman a standing ovation for saving their lives. Uh, and today they acquitted the guy who tried to murder them. That's some fucked up shit. They wow. just, yeah, they, it, it doesn't apply. Now Eugene is he got a he got a new job. He's he like did. head of security or something. Okay, he, he, he like escorted uh, Kamala Harris out. Actually, Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. Kamala. I, I every time I say it, I'm like think comma and then law. I saw that and that changed the way I look. Like at common it. law? No, like comma. Oh, Kamala, comma, law. Kamala. Okay. Uh, yeah. That, now I know how to say it. Thank you. I needed the visual because I, um, I kept seeing the word. I was like, I'm gonna mess it up. So I just was saying, Madam Vice President, <laughs> just to be safe. Madam Vice President. I was like, you can't figure out this black woman's name. It was like, I Kamala, just need to I'm hear. I'm sorry. It. I've just never heard it before. Yeah. It's weird you, to hear a word you ain't never or a name you've never heard before. So yeah. So Kamala. Um, but you know, that 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 is that is where we live. But this is also where we live. This scam is. Funnier, at least. Uh, there was a woman in Texas mm -hmm. who is now out $100,000 because she thought she was in a relationship with Bruno Mars. Listen, we talked about this one on Zoom, too. It's the most 2021 thing. Let me tell you something. I have ever seen in my life. Baby girl. First of all, it was two guys that scammed her. It was two guys that scammed her out of this money. Okay. My thing is, why would Bruno Mars... An international superstar did the Super Bowl, toured the Super all Bowl. over the world. Yes. Okay. 
why would he need a quick hundred thou? Why would he need that hundred thou while real quick from you of all people? This is exactly like the this is like a 2021 African prince email scam when he was like, I'm a prince. For some reason, I need your credit card number like that was huge in the 90s. They done upgraded it. So if you haven't heard of this, this is a 65 year old Texas woman who had high hopes of meeting Bruno Mars. And she was hoodwinked, scammed, bamboozled, skadoozled. This was a this was a, cy a, a cyber crime prosecutor said that someone overseas befriended her on Instagram back in 2018. He convinced her that he was Bruno Mars and that he needed help with his touring expenses. So, okay, according to court documents, a man identifying himself as Bruno Man even promised he was quitting his current tour to be with her. The alleged victim says she cut a couple of checks, put them in the mail as instructed, one for 10K and then another for 90K. Big jump. Uh, police say the money found its way into the bank account of... <laughs> Chinwendu Azon, uh, some dude, <laughs> a local man who was taken into custody, custody on Monday, money laundering charges. So, and he said he has an accomplice uh, who's also facing similar charges. So here's, the, here's what you thought. First of all, he hit you up on Instagram from his not uh, Bruno Mars account. That's, that's sign number one. That's not Bruno Mars's account. Yeah. Uh, so he, 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 he convinced her that he was Bruno Mars and then also tour help, not from the label. Like the label was like, can you find some woman to help us cover this? Um, 10 K then 90 K you've been on tour. <laughs> Would that put a dent in a Bruno Mars tour anyway? No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all so so the money that they asked for didn't even make make sense and then not only that at some point he was going to quit his tour and his money to be with her not even saying like i'm gonna keep touring to pay you this money back like no you keep working you owe me a hundred thousand dollars this is this this one's different this one is this one is very different bro i I feel like 100K is like what one of his 24 karat uh, magic performances costs. <laughs> First of all, I don't know if Bruno Mars is touring right now, uh, given the current state of <laughs> the world. Uh, I didn't think of that part. But also, like, just the tour bus itself, you're going to pay between 1900 and 2500 a day. All right? Huh. 2500 a day. So... If, if if you calculate that just in one week, that's that's over ten thousand dollars for one week. That's for the that's bus? a five day. That's a five day week. Ten thousand dollars is over ten thousand dollars per week. That's how much the tour bus costs. Mm -hmm. No wonder those musicians were broke. The label was milking them, and they were just on PJs, tour buses, doing all this stuff. Like, hey, we living. Yeah, but I mean, I because I, tour. When I toured with Truth, we had two buses too, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that like you get a better rate if you give them like, hey, we're gonna need this bus for two months or something like that. You yeah. might get a better rate, but like, yeah, it's, it's thought about that, man. Tour buses are expensive. Like, man. the gas you have, they have to refill the water every day. They have to dump the waste every day. Um, so yeah, baby girl, they just they just got off, and then and then I, I need to see a picture of her because no 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 disrespect, but it's like he's gonna stop. Making millions of dollars just to be with you? Well, clearly he wasn't making millions of dollars because I don't know how he even finessed that. Like, I know you think I'm rich, but the labels, I just I just need a little help to get through this tour. Like, I, this is just, I want to see the conversation. I know that's against privacy, but I just want to see how this, how this happened. There should be a doc. There should be something because I, I would like to read what these people said. And, and they are, they are very very african names yeah. so oh they scammed her they with, scammed her nice and good <laughs> they scammed her nice and good man that's <sighs> africa what's happening over there it's very very scammy <laughs> i mean they a lot scam, of, of scam anywhere but there. they i feel like they are like they're, they they're are, just very good they're at the it. gate they're the gatekeepers <laughs> they're really good <laughs> at it. they started this shit you have one that was so good it it traveled to America through emails. Like that was when we were first getting our feet wet with emails. And then here you come asking for credit cards. That's 
It's pretty interesting, actually. The whole scam life. I'm not. I don't. I don't like thieves, but yeah, it's almost like how, like, uh, Ocean's Eleven is hella interesting. Yeah, <laughs> like how they do it. It's just like, hmm, that's um, that's crazy. That's very. That's very. That's very interesting. I, oof, I, I feel sorry for her. I hope she's able to get the money back. That's how I always wanted. When people do get caught scamming, like, do people get their money back? Cause like how does, how's that how's that restitution go? Because like if she gave the money to them via check or, or cashier, at that point, like the bank doesn't have the money anymore. So who refunds her the money? It doesn't bank have insurance like when when you get refunded for getting fraudulent charges and stuff. Yeah, that's if somebody actually took the money out of your account. But if you oh, willingly if you gave it, it, yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if the same applies. I mean, I mean, of course you could sue them for it, but if they spent the money, they don't have it to get back, and then they go to jail. How do they even get the money back? So, yeah, because it says he was taken into custody on money laundering charges. Mm -hmm. So is that considered money, money laundering if you lie about a front, like a like a tour, and you got money through it? Or is that? Money laundering could be anything from, like, uh, just not admitting, not, like, properly using funds for what, so this is it's a form of laundry. I, I, it could be. I don't know. I, I, I don't. Because it could be I don't something say else. Yes or no. I don't yeah. know enough about that to to Damn. say yay or nay. I just say that. Is scamming a big thing in uh, St. Louis? Like like it is in like Detroit and stuff. Not how it is in Atlanta. I mean, you have That's the thing in Atlanta too. Yeah, scamming in Atlanta is huge. That's what they be finessing you out of the tennis shoes and or saying they're gonna meet up with you to buy the tennis shoes or sell you tennis shoes and rob you. Like yeah, it's big. The, the Water Boys. You been hearing about the water boys? That what is that? Them motherfuckers be following people home, finding out where your car is, breaking in your car, charging you two dollars for a seventy-five cent water. Throwing it at yeah, like there's yeah, there's crazy I'm, I'm videos of like somebody like actually supporting them and then like forcing more money out of them. Like what? Where y'all parents? <laughs> what is what what is happening out there? Is anybody out here from Atlanta? Is that that's that just seems like something that uh. Is, is is happening over there and the they are, everybody's just cool with it, I guess. No, nah, ain't nobody cool with it, but it's like, you know it's, 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 one, it's one point like, you know, they some of them out there really trying to make, you know, a couple dollars for the day. Some of them are just taking advantage of an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They also like, nigga, it's cold right now. Oh, fuck I need this cold ass <laughs> water for Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. During winter. It's just like, man, yeah. we're selling this. We don't care about that. Just <laughs> give me the money. <laughs> um, a lot, man. Speaking of scams, though, Kevin Hart was scammed uh, out of a million dollars from his personal shopper. Mm -hmm. And I just I don't get how once you're at that level, like, how do you keep up at that point? There's just there's people handling your money, there's mm -hmm. people handling your transactions. And it's like it's almost like everybody's doing something. And it, it's like once they once it gets audited, it'll be like, oh, this person was holding, you know, X amount of hundred thousands. And it's like. How does one person keep up with that? I think, and I, we, this is crazy. All the stories we talked about, we talked about on Zoom. Um, I think that Kevin might have been in, in New York doing some work, and he, he had a personal shopper there, and that person just wrote down the, the card number, the information, uh -huh. and kept it. Because I think they did it a million over like a, the course of a year. Oh, really? It wasn't just one transaction. It was like the course of a year, they spent a million dollars. It's usually like gradual, mm -hmm. so it doesn't ping any flags. Yeah. But still, like, what are you buying? And what what what, what do you spend a million dollars on? Like, one point two within the past two years on jewelry, watches, art, collectibles, and handbags. That's crazy. Five cause collectible statues, sixteen bare brick collectible statues. He's making a bunch of expensive statues. Uh, two Louis Vuitton bags, five Patek watches worth more than four hundred k. And Sam, a Sam Friedman painting. Damn, that's 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 awkward. Cause I already know Kevin was just like, "What? This thing's buying art." Yeah, that nigga was like, "I mean, these were." He he has expensive taste. He does. <laughs> he has very <laughs> expensive taste. I guess that's why he ended up being a person. At least the art can appreciate, but them watches, you ain't gonna get no money for them watches. What do you? Yeah. That's just scary. That's a very scary. Uh, thing to think about the world like, is, is just like i don't think it's full of bad people but the people that are fucked up are really fucked up man mm -hmm. you'd be like man y'all just y'all just be out here just doing any old thing huh <laughs> just, just any old thing for real it's like where's where's y'all shame 
Like he, you could have just not did that <laughs> and keep working for Kevin Hart and stack up yourself, honestly. No, no, that, that, that took too long. That's weird. And because it's like even the dude who's supposed to be watching your money for shit like that to not happen can be doing it. That's probably the easiest one. Um, and it's always the, that dude in the cartel that cripples the whole thing. It's always the money guy because they yeah. always go after him. <laughs> and that'd be the dude who'd be singing. That's because they know that's not the real. That's not the real gangster. That's the money the guy they nigga. usually get because he's just he's good he's with good money. With numbers, right? He can figure out how to hide stuff. He's not usually he's not usually the accountant as Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck was a different type of accountant, right? That mother was with the shit. He's <laughs> good with, with numbers, and he was with the shit. Right? That's a good movie. It was a great movie. I love I love the accountant. Hey Ben Ben Affleck is is really good out here. I really like it. You know, there's a Zack Snyder cut. Of uh, uh, Justice League, yeah, I'm, I want to see that. It, what was it like? It's like four hours long or something. I don't know, but I look because even uh, the the villain looks different. They had him like with spikes all over his body or some shit like that. I'm Is like, that different? Mm-hmm. I don't want it. I want to see it. I'm for I'm for all the BS. If it's four hours long, that's a long time. Though. I don't know if we can actually do that one on uh on the movie night, but we right. we would do it on the, the Saturday matinee, movie matinee. Okay, that's split it up that. or something. Yeah. I'm for that. How do you get the Snyder Cut stuff? It's going to be on HBO Max. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. they're really dropping it like that. Oh, that's dope. All the DC stuff is going to HBO Max. All of it. That's super dope. I can't wait. He said they broke it up into four one-hour episodes. The Zack okay. Snyder Cuts, that's what they did? That's kind of, that's MTM? dope. That's low-key better. All right. All right. Another good watch, The Undoing. If you haven't seen that one, watch that on, on HBO Max. It was pretty crazy. The Undoing? The Undoing. Nicole Kidman in there. You know what I'm saying? Looking like how she look. She don't, she don't be aging much. Nicole Kidman? Yeah. You can tell she's older now, but she still looks nice. Still nice looking. <laughs> she was the shit back in the day, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. That's it. Yeah, because they didn't want to do a four-hour movie. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were. It's, it's weird because like now I'm so paranoid. When I think I see like a setup for a transition, I'm like, oh, he's got to do it. <laughs> so I was just like, I was waiting, I was waiting for it. you were like another good watch, no. <laughs> another good watch. I was like, oh, okay, let me not, let me not. <laughs> no, 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 you good? Go ahead. <laughs> That's dope. I want to. I, 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 I don't think I've made it all the way through the regular Justice League movie though. Really? Low key, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because I was like, I stopped it because I was like, I didn't watch enough of their individual movies. Yeah. So I want to double back because I never seen Aquaman and mm. I never watched, uh, what was the other one? I never Batman watched. Batman uh, versus Superman? No, I, I saw, I saw, I, I usually watch everything Batman. Okay. But I didn't watch uh, the Flash TV show yet. And I, I hear it's really good. It's I know okay. it doesn't cross. Yeah, it doesn't cross, but yeah, it was okay. It you didn't was, like it? It was okay. I, mean, I heard that and Green Arrow were like some of. Some of the uh, DC's best work. I don't in I don't, live action. Yeah, I don't know. I no? really just mm, it was okay. I watched. I watched. I watched it a couple episodes. I'm probably not, a whole season. I probably watched the whole first season. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do that this week. It's gonna be a DC week. Yeah, but you don't have to see that to to watch what's McCall. You'd, you'd be fine without that. The Schneiders. Yeah, I agree. Kill me. It's, it's cool, but it, it does get repetitive. Does, all the episodes. Does anyone know uh, when it drops? Oh, uh, the new one. Oh, uh, look it up. Let's look it up. Zach. The Schneid Cuts. Snyder. Justice League. Uh, da, 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 da. What does it say? It dropped. My release is March 18th, 2021. Oh, that's coming up. Yeah. The All Captain right. America uh, joint, too. I mean, um, Falcon and oh, that show? Winter Soldier. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's a show or a movie. I thought it was a t- uh, TV show. Falcon and Winter. Yeah, it's a miniseries. Okay. okay. It's, it's going to be like crazy big budget, though. Yeah. Like I, Yeah, I, it, looked, you know. it looked great. When I saw it last night, I was like, okay. Oh, they dropped a trailer? Uh, yeah, I saw a trailer for it. Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. She said, boo, Falcon. Hey, <laughs> he might be Captain America. Although, I hear that that might not be. I hear he, he might not get the shield. <laughs> Which is like, damn, we can't have nothing. <laughs> it's like you're Captain Black America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have limits. <laughs> yeah. March 19th is the release of the spinoff. He which got follows. a shield that don't come back. Yeah. He got Damn. 
<laughs> they would have been a cool little, little little group too. Like if Cap hadn't stayed, yeah. Falcon, Cap, and a Winter Soldier, like that that would have been. I'm still I still like Cap the best, man. I'm of like course, a huge, but I mean, like, huge Cap like fan. Everybody offers something different with that. But I will just say it this though: two out of three men will experience some form of of of, of hair loss by the age of thirty five. So I don't know. I can't imagine a ball Captain America. Uh, <laughs> more than fifty million men in the U.S. Uh, suffer from male pattern baldness, all right? And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both, all right? Um, Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consult consultations and uh, medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home anymore, okay? And we are talking about... Low cost, ladies and gentlemen. I remember back in the day, you think about Heinz Wyman and all of those other things, and Heinz they didn't Wyman. even say the, the price because you knew it was a lot. With the low cost of $10 a month, you can get your keeps treatments on the way. They come in discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors, and prevention is key. Keeps. Seeing as treatments can take four to six months to see some results, the faster you act, the more hair you can keep. All right. Um, I haven't tried Keeps because you know my, my dad blessed me. But Pat, you tried it out, right? I did try it out. Prevention I, I, is key. Hey, I wanna. I I I need my mop. Yeah. <laughs> I need my mop. I'm in my early thirties, and and it, once I, I I can't go out like Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Stevie, good. Grief. I had to lower my. Eye. But yeah, I, yeah, because you don't want to be disrespectful. I respect that man. You yeah, know what I mean? you don't you know. want to be disrespectful with it, but, but you know, uh, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to k e e p s dot com slash d i y s to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's right, for free. That's k e e p s dot com slash d i y s to get your first month for free. Keeps dot com slash d i y s. And thank you, boys. Later. Keeps. Mm hmm. MTM says superheroes don't go bald. I feel like I can I can prove that wrong, right? Professor X. Uh huh. Um, uh, Deadpool. He was burned, he was but burned he technically Chris. he did go uh, bald. Who did uh uh Sam Jackson play? Oh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury. When he bald? You. He, he's not really a superhero though, you know. Right, man. He's a, he's, he's super organized. That was his power. Well, he, I guess he is. He was a Meg scoop. Uh, <laughs> he was <laughs> the Meg scoop of the Avengers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not fair because uh, Black Widow don't got powers and she's considered a superhero. So Absolutely, right. she is. Yeah. So Luke yeah. Cage. All Shout the, out to all the black dudes. Yeah, all the black dudes. <laughs> well, all the black superheroes go bald. Is it, maybe it's by choice. Why uh, guys when they when they're bald the they thing. be looking like racist? I think that's what it is. The dude who plays the thing in Fantastic Four, also the dude from the Shield, he be looking like a thumb. Yeah. That white dude, because it's like when. Yeah, white white bald heads either look a little racist or a little uh, like a, like a kneecap. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. Like a kneecap. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about some weird some weird headlines yes, in this little uh, this little break. Um, a there's a dog, a dog that inherited five million dollars after his wealthy owner passed away. Let me tell you something. I guarantee somebody's gonna try to marry that dog. <laughs> I guarantee if they're marrying dogs and shit like that, I guarantee somebody's gonna try to marry that pup. That's a rich dog. <laughs> Five year old dog named Lulu. Oh, she young too. She a young little thing. That's thirty five in dog years. Uh, so she's of age. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, she was named the sole proprietor in business owner Bill Doris's will after his death. It reads: Five million dollars will be transferred to a trust fund. To be formed upon my death for the care of my border collie, Lulu. This trust is to provide for all the needs of Lulu. The dog will remain in possession of Martha Burton. Uh, well, you had a, a woman? Like a somebody that could have? Okay. Somebody. Burton was a friend of Doris who also cared for Lulu while he handled things for his business. So I don't think anything came went to, went to poor Martha. Well, I mean, if she has to take care of the dog, which I'm sure she will, um... I mean, she she has operating expense too, so you know. Oh right, I'd be, I'd be getting on that five million too if I was Martha. I'd be like, well, this dog deserves to only ride in Rolls Royces. But, at the, <laughs> <laughs> but but that's the crazy part is like we only know about taking care of a dog that may be in a rich house, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like 
you take care of the dog, but you're you're being hired by whoever is there. But this would be like one, the only the only case I ever seen where technically this Martha Burton would be working for the dog themselves. Mm -hmm. Like it would be literally you would be working for the dog because the dog is the owner of the money that your salary is getting. That's super weird. That's that, that's a whole different dynamic. It's like you have to t you got you have to feed him. Yeah. And well. <laughs> it's not like a, oh, I forgot to feed so and so. You're nah, fired. No. Nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, although the dog can't tell anybody, it's not like bark. <laughs> bark a fire, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's a you that's can't, an interesting you can't tell dynamic. anybody, and it's also like like who's gonna do something about it? Like it's just I don't know. This is weird. The whole thing is weird. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, there's some there are some comments, but um. This is going on Spotify, so <laughs> but keep those to myself. You guys are some wild, some wild, some wild people. Oh um, my god! Another another very weird um, headline is that a woman got severe gangrene after catching COVID. Gangrene. I haven't heard that in a long time. This is an 86 year old Italian woman. Got gang, uh, gangrene that caused severe clotting and eventually cut off the blood supply to her hands, leaving black fingers. She has like four black ass fingers, and this is an old ass disease. Oh my God. Oh, they, they amputated them. Oh my goodness. Them, oh, them, wow. them, them fingers is gone. You think they gangrene, like, you always think like, like cold, you know what I'm saying? But it's a it's a type of tissue death caused by the lack of blood supply. You're thinking of uh, dang, what's Frost, the, not frostbite, but whatever Adam Sandler had in Big Daddy. Yeah, what was that? Um, <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, people it? still get gangrene a lot. I didn't know that either. What gangrene? I Man, Rotash should be lying. I thought that was a pirate, like a thing that pirates got. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not leprosy. I forget what it was. Let me see. It's probably what from the cold. What is that? It's not frostbite. Why was Adam? <laughs> I said it was Mr. Deeds, not Big Daddy. But black. Oh, Mr. Deeds. Mm -hmm. Why does Mr. Deeds have a, a lot of a, <laughs> a lot of people asking this question? Um, it was. What movie does Adam have the black foot? <laughs> it wasn't scurvy either, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Dang it. This was like literally how I learned about this. <sighs> what is... What the hell does he have? It's going to come what? to me. Plot. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what the heck was this thing called? It's not even on the wiki. Mm. Ah, take this L to the face. <laughs> take this L, sip it slowly. Uh, How's that not in the wiki? That's a big part. See, th yeah, this is what I was talking about right here. This is prolonged. Oh, God, that's right. real? Yeah. That is, those are some black toes yeah, on a white foot. I think that's frostbite, though. Frost nip. It's one frostbite is another. Frost nip. <laughs> yeah. That does that sounds not as uh <laughs> not as, as dangerous. It's just a little frost nip. Mm. Okay, the answer is Now we're not thinking of gout. I th I thought it was gangrene, but maybe not. Okay, search. Oh, blackfoot deadened by frostbite. Oh, frostbite. Okay. I guess it is frostbite. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's the word they used uh but I guess frostbite. Yeah, I guess mm. so. That's what Luella said too. Dang it! Yeah, it took a long time to find out. Sorry, I guys. know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I guess um, new case of new case of severe gangrene. People still getting it. <laughs> Y'all be careful out there. Um, I think this is probably one of the weirdest. Uh, did you hear about uh, how Rachel Dolezal hasn't been able to find a, a job in six years after all that stuff? Really. Yes, so Rachel Dolezal, if you guys remember, this was the woman who identified as black. Mm -hmm. uh, very clearly a, a, a white woman, but you know. Now they treat her like she's black. Man, got, <laughs> she she got what she asked That's for and a little bit more. Um, and it's crazy because when, uh, when, she, when she told us she had the 
the braids and the mm -hmm. Af map of Africa behind her. But she basically said in the six years since she's uh, went viral for pretending to be black, she can't get hired anywhere. Uh, she said like even places, um, and she was a former college professor, uh, black activist. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, she's clearly biologically white, but and she has two white parents. But she said she couldn't even um, f find a job in, in fields where it doesn't require a, a degree. Like she said that she she couldn't get a job as a maid. Uh, she couldn't. Uh, they, they they highlighted that specifically. Um, the maid. Getting turned down. Um, I even applied to jobs that didn't even require degrees. Um, being a maid at a hotel. Uh, working at a casino. So you're I, saying I you wasn't couldn't able to get, get any a job, of those jobs either. You couldn't get a job as a maid at a hotel because right. of the stories that have followed you. Yeah, and and I think um, you know. It's funny when like interviewers reiterate. A funny part, just yeah. to make sure everybody heard it. Like, Hold whoa, on, wait, whoa, let whoa, me whoa. make sure I heard this right. Uh, Since you were pretending to... <laughs> you couldn't get a job. She was like, yeah, that's, that's what I said. That's basically. <laughs> that's, basically, that's, basically <laughs> that's what I said. Um, hey, play stupid games. Get stupid prizes. Um, do you think this is deserved, though? Because to be honest... I will, most people, <laughs> and this isn't just a, a pat on the black back. I feel like a, most people pretend to be black in some type of way. Mm -hmm. Most non people of color do, are, are, are in some way. It, obviously, she, she went viral because of her commitment and how extra she was. Right. But in a place where we are the, the, the leaders of, of trends and culture, do you deserve your life ruined for th for for this, as opposed to just being shamed like she was, which she was, a lot. Yeah, I I feel like a lot of people want the black experience without the full black experience, mm -hmm. and I feel like now she's getting more than she bargained for. I would really like to know her views on what she did. Like, does she feel like she went too hard with it, or she should have been more upfront about? Her, her nationality and what she really was, but and then really highlighting the fact that she supported black rights and she supported the movement versus mm -hmm. trying to pass off as a black person. Mm -hmm. Or has she completely been tarnished by this and now she like ha wants nothing to do with the black community? Like That's what I really want to know. Well, you could tell by her, her interview, she's still very much all in. She got the braids. She got, she got, the, got braids. the African pictures and the, the map of Africa, which is very on the nose. <laughs> like She's straight up like still in it this is who i am which makes me believe that it's maybe who she really feels like she is like if anything once your life is ruined you would kind of go back and you know miley cyrus it and be like i'm done with this let me go back to my my white mm -hmm. <laughs> but i don't i don't know it seems like she's very much locked in so it could it could be in her mind a real thing as opposed to a viral stunt but i don't know you guys I, let us know if you think it's uh if you think it's a little much, or you think it's justified? <laughs> so wrote, she wanted the rhythm, but not the blues. I, I love that. That, that was good. That's stuff, Venus. <laughs> I I bet that her inbox is blowing up. I bet dudes was trying to smash though. I, I guarantee niggas was like, "Hey, you know that one chick write your dollars off?" <laughs> Just your boy. I guarantee dudes was trying to holler more. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Till you, I mean, if if she's this much of a weirdo. I can't yeah. imagine her in bed. You probably leave that thing like that was weird. <laughs> she is not black. <laughs> I don't know. I just bet. I bet more guys was trying to holler. I guarantee it. It just, just it makes just me think of the Kevin on stage. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that probably comes out in the bedroom, and you're like, if ah, y'all miss Tony Baker, oh, he killed. That was <laughs> Tony so Baker funny. and Fred special this past Friday, that man. Was so funny. You would not get that joke, but it was, it was really good. That he was like, that funny. was me, not Melissa. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. That is funny. <laughs> Oh man, they got time today. <laughs> <laughs> For real. 
Oh my goodness, man. We got to get ready to start wrapping it up um, because we got to get ready for squad cast. You know, Mm -hmm. you know how that goes. We shoot a whole lot in a day and uh, the time really gets away from you. So, you know, try to stay on it. Uh, Speaking of time, a watch should be something you look forward to putting on every day. All right. Venturo is dedicated to the craft. They put the time and the effort into crafting timepieces so you can wear them day after day. All right. Venturo values high end, modern, distinctive designs that look good, feel great, and don't break the bank. Venturo just released a whole new series of colorways and designs for you oh, to see yourself. All the right. New stuff. The new stuff is out. With the new year, they are now offering a five-year warranty and a 365-day return policy. It's stress-free shopping with fair and honest prices. And this is why they have over 26,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot of reviews. It's a lot of five-star reviews, okay? 26K. 26K, because you won't find a better watch, better made watch for this good of a price anywhere else. When you put it on, you immediately know you got more than what you paid for, and it's the best value for your money guaranteed. Venturo mm-hmm. stands behind every product it makes. If you don't absolutely love your watch, you can send it back and they will return it right, uh, return your funds right to you. Uh, you can shop for these beautiful time pieces with peace of mind. And that's what we all want. That's what we all want. So if you guys want to take advantage right now, you should because right now everything will be 20% off. You heard what? right, 20% percent off when you use our personal link is venturowatches.com slash scary all right i'm gonna say that one more time time. v-i-n-c-e-r-o watches w-a-t-c-h-e-s dot com slash watches use the code scary Mm -hmm. okay again that code is scary and you're gonna get 20 percent off all right you heard right one more time go to venturowatches.com slash scary use the promo code scary and get 20% off. And Scary. tell them, tell them your boy sent you. You know what I'm saying? We, we trying to hook you up with the flatness. Scary. Oh, yeah. Scary. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Just try to slide it in there. Now we talked about watches. Now it's time for stories about killing. Mm. That just seems right on brand. Hitmen. They are a thing. Mm-hmm. They are absolutely a thing. And not only that... Sometimes cops use them. Wait, what? Did I know that? No. Did you know that? (laughs) That's weird. I just asked myself. (laughs) None of us knew that, but probably because there was a NYPD officer who pled guilty over a plot to hire a hitman to kill her own husband. Oh, come on, baby girl. But it gets crazier. Her name's Valerie Cincinelli, 36-year-old mother of two. Uh, pled guilty to uh, over a plot, uh, a plot to hire a hitman to kill her estranged husband and her boyfriend's fifteen-year-old daughter. So she was going to wipe out two people she, she from different the, sides she of the two, her life. She bought the two for one. So how do you kill you? You kill killing people on both sides of your affair. So you don't like your wait? Was it her her daughter's boyfriend? No, her. Husband uh-huh. and her boyfriend's fifteen-year-old daughter. So you're gonna wipe out the baby too. Just she was ready to wipe out the baby so she can just go on a traveling spree. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I, you know, I I would go, but I gotta watch her. She's in school. We gotta do Man. a whole schooling thing with Zoom. And she was like, so your daughter's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Cop. Yeah, I need you to need you to come over here with a gun and a bullet. The gun and the bullet? <laughs> He's clearly like your first time talking to a hitman. Oh, um, my God. It says initially she did uh, entered a not guilty plea, but is now ready to cop a plea. Let's see what they did there. Uh, it says uh, ahead of her, blah, 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 she was accused of paying her boyfriend. Oh. So his the boyfriend was in on it. She, she paid her boyfriend, identified as John Deruba. $7,000 to hire a hitman in 2019. That's why you got caught. You're being cheap. Mm. Uh, $7,000 to hire a hitman in 2019 to assassinate her husband, Isaiah uh, Carvalho Jr., and Daruba's own 15-year-old daughter, who reportedly was getting in the way of their twisted plan. 
The bust came down after Daruba was caught in another crime, leading him to confess to the insane murder for hire plot uh, and becoming a confidential informant for the FBI. Oh, he snitch snitched, which included him wearing a wire during conversations with Cincinnati. He snitched on the police, and that's what she gets. That's also crazy that he got seven grand to kill not only his girl's husband, but his own daughter. Yo, daughter, bro. 15? Bro, you almost done. You almost done. You finna risk it all. It That's wild. Just for, like, they couldn't get the divorce? You can't just get the, y'all just get the divorce. Why, why do all the hitman and the, just get the divorce. It'll suck. But y'all be good. And now y'all in jail. <laughs> because that's, the other thing is like, he got caught for something else. This nigga was with this, all the bullshit. He got caught doing a different crime and then got hit with that, that, that bargain. And he was just like, well, she did want to kill my daughter. So he got he hit her with that wire treatment. Man, that's so crazy. That wire tag. And it, you knew she wanted to kill your daughter. You was all in, bruh. Isn't it crazy how that kind of shit is just... <laughs> it's just happening out there. Like, I just be looking around like that's Damn. what I'm saying. Like, not everybody's bad, but the people that are bad, you be like, bro, what the fuck? Who didn't hug you enough? I I drove by at least two hitmen and didn't know it on the way here. Just people who are yeah, just didn't know, huh? either fresh off of a hit or going to one, and that's 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 truly disturbing, guys. Yeah, you, you you don't know who people are. And what the hell is going on at night? Cause that's that's some that's next level problems. That's next level toxic. Like let, let's let's get my daughter out the way. But she's fifteen. Yeah, but she's she's looking at my texts. <laughs> she's gonna tell my wife, like yo. And also, I don't know what his deal was. I don't know if he had a girl or a, or a wife, but crazy sheet, crazy sheet. The guys. craziest, crazy sheet. And he, this was remember this was. This was a cop. This was an MP NYPD officer they are Sir, to serve out. and protect, but, they are, but they often they own fam. All right. Well, uh, we got one more before we get up out of here, or um, is that our last doozy? Because goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, why not just go out on another quick doozy? All right. Let's go. Uh, supermodel Beverly Peel uh -huh. alleged that sex. There's a sex freak named Peter Nygaard. You know this guy. Mm -mm. He hey, would, he held women captive and would pussy cast. Never heard of that. He's a Canadian fashion designer. Uh, but he would pussy cast Does pamper parties. He casting on how their vagina looks. He, like if it's a good looking vagina, he would pick you for the fashion. It show? says he held pamper parties at his Bahamas mansion, um, which by itself sounds fun. Pamper party at the Bahama Mansion. That sounds like you're gonna get massages all day. Yeah, let's go. Massages, foot massages, back spa day or something. Uh, but then he virtually held the women as prisoners. Says it was like a pussy casting. She said a bunch of girls parading around for him to pick. He'd promised them modeling contracts and campaigns in New York. He would disappear with two of them, and after he was done, he'd return and say, "Okay, okay, who's next?" Goes on to claim that he would collect their passports and they'd be stuck in the mansion and these rooms would have codes and they couldn't leave. I hear a lot of rappers do that too. What is, y'all need to be careful around these. Rich people are crazy. <laughs> you might as well. Uh, Rich people as, really aren't used stay, to hearing might as well stay the word no. Their money has afforded them so many luxuries and so many doors to be opened in their life. They are just really not accustomed to the word no. And, and just not doing what they want to do. It's so crazy. Monstrous. To me. That's monstrous shit. Pamper party, and it's like it looked. It, it sounded like there wasn't even like something to do, like a monologue to read or a one runway. It was just like, All right, man, who's, who's next in my house? And it's just y'all need. I feel so bad about that because it's just like, fam, that's uh, that that makes the the industry like. It makes it scary. It it's, makes you don't want to like, like jump like, into something. Why you don't want to do that? Because I hear horrible things about photographers, mm -hmm. fashion designers. Right? Every aspect has these monsters in it. So you just got to watch where you move because you never know where you at and who's around you. Because that's that's some wild shit. That is some nice. wild shit. All right. Um, yeah. Well, we ended on uh, on another doozy for sure. For sure. <laughs> uh, Doozies are last. <laughs> yeesh. Uh, but. 
Thank y'all for watching. Uh, it's been another episode of Damn Internet. You scary, as you can just see from those last two stories. Be it is, careful. It's crazy out there, man. Y'all be, be safe out there. Love on the people that you can trust and mm -hmm. be cool with them. And, you know, don't do not do too much crazy stuff because it's we're still in a weird place, guys. Uh, yes. Still in a very much weird place. Anyway, yes. I'm T.M. Moore. <laughs> I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you next week on another episode. Later. Peace out.